for fun, I think I'd look around the Quake 1 source code, the version of the engine that targets the Vulkan graphics API. Happen to have the game downloaded from Steam. Uh, pretty fun to play, and it's nice to be able to muck around with it. Curious to know how it works. I've never looked at this Quake source code either. So I'm pretty curious as to what it looks like. What I'm doing here is setting up my standard development environment, which is a Git repository I make for my current project, along with a screen session named after the current project. And console, editor, it's pretty much the, the standard uh, set that I work with. And uh, now, of course, I want to actually get the quick source code. For that, I'm going to use the git submodule in this project directory. It lets me add handy development files without uh, changing the upstream source. Even though I'm using a branch of the upstream, it's still kind of handy. In this case, I, I intend to add a default net nix for nix packages that will directly set up the development environment I want and assist in any build and test. Pretty standard for my setup. So we have the source code up there, and now I want to compile and run it. I know it is possible to uh, compile and run under Nix OS because there is a Nix packages derivation for VK Quake. And I know that because, well, there's an entry here. Now, this could be found via Nixenv, but whatever. And I see that the source for the derivation is here. I just wanted to look at this just to see how the development environment was set up uh, for a Vulkan application. It looks like there's two things of note, Vulkan headers, Vulkan loader, okay. And uh, this is how I found uh, source code for VK Quake as I looked where the source was from in the Nix derivation. It says GitHub, Nova, VK Quake. And I'm just looking at what does the build environment look like. And uh, it looks pretty straightforward. It looks like a very easy make style program with only a bit of weirdness. Here is this wrap program to add the Vulkan loader libraries to LD library path. Okay, that's cool. So what I'm going to do is open a Nix shell to exactly that derivation's build environment. And I'm gonna say just use my uh, system's current Nix packages. That's, that I know works with uh, the current graphics drivers that'll pull in the Vulkan loader that I know is working for the current system. Uh, so we're in that development environment and I know from perusing the Nix derivation that it really it's just this sourcester, quake, and then we go make. And that's about it. Uh, except for this LD library path, which we'll get to in a second. Uh, what this is telling me that the executable created straight from the build is not going to work because it's going to fail to load some library. Um, I don't know if that's actually true, and I don't really know what the library is aside from it's in Vulkan loader lib, but we'll find out very shortly. And there we go, nice and built. Let's hit go. And sure enough, it fails to load a library, lib vulkan.so. Okay, so that makes perfect sense since it should have been a library in Vulkan loader. But what is that path? Well, this is the development environment for that derivation, which will have this as an environment variable. So we'll just check out what that is and then manually for now throw that path as a prefix of LD library path. Now I expect this to work 
and get us into Quake. We'll just jump around for a moment here, just to verify. Hey, it looks like Quake. Uh, looks like uh, graphics are working. Uh, I don't really notice anything special about the Vulcan graphics, but um, yeah, let's uh, see what it looks like in the cut. Before I do that, I don't really want to type this stuff every time I set up this development environment and want to compile it from my current checkout. Uh, there's an option I have, which is to create a new derivation that uh, is exactly this code and uh, change the source to the current directory. Uh, sorry, not the current directory, the vkquake directory and uh, use Nix to build it every time I want to test it. That would work. I know it would get the Nix environment, but I would have to build from scratch effectively every time as Nix would set up a fresh build environment from that source code. That's not really what I want for build and test. So what I'm going to do instead is create shell commands that implement those LD library pass and make uh, that I know work sufficiently to build a test version of this. The derivation can still work for overloading the source, but it'll be quicker for development. Under Nix, for a project that always starts with a default.nix and importing the Nix packages. This will get me the system development environment that I know works. This is the standard kind of project default at Nix I start with. It just imports the system's current Nix packages and imports lib from packages, then gives me a new a new derivation set that includes Nix packages as just packages. And this means that I should be able to go back to my console and then request a Nix shell of packages.vk quick and get the exact same Nix shell or development environment. Uh, that I was working with previously, but note that I did not have to specify Nix packages. Nix shell by default looked in the current directory for a default.nix, hence the name, and my default.nix had the same instructions, which is to essentially first from Nix packages load a packages attribute. So we are back in this development environment and we have these kind of commands that I want to add. One and two, well, it's a pretty fast compile and it's easy to make, so I'm just going to make a command called test that builds and executes quick. Actually, I'll make one called build and one called test. What I'm going to do here is uh, create a new derivation called VK Quake that is going to override the existing VK Quake derivation, but with two additions. One is a different source. It's going to point to the current directory, so I can build via Nix if I feel like. And another attribute called shell hook, which is executed when I use Nix shell. Uh, and this, I'm actually just going to name alias to env as well, because I'm lazy and I typically like doing this for my current project's development environment. But for also clarity, I'm going to name it VK Quick so it's clear that this is an override of VK Quick. There are a few different ways to override an existing package. It depends if we're overriding the input 
to the package or if we're overriding the output of the package. In this case, we're overriding the attributes, which is after the input, but uh, before the derivation is built. And for this, we use override attributes. And this takes a lambda that takes the old attributes and produces the new attributes. Excuse my indenting, it seems weird. And in this case, I'm not overriding anything. So this environment should be exactly equivalent to our previous, which we can test by just loading it on up. And sure enough, we do a quick check here and we have the exact same environment as before. Now it's just slightly faster to get to. But I want to get back to our original goal with this, which is to add two shell functions. I'm going to call build. And one called test. Actually, we'll just have a build. And we'll just have build, of course. We just really wanted to go. Let's see. We're going to see the earthquake. And make. I like that. And test, we wanted to build, and if build successful, mm, kind of do the same thing. Except for now we want it to execute with the proper base directory. So. And that looks about right. So this should now give us a, whoops. Let's try the even shorter version. Now our project environment should give us an X shell, which should have a build, which does nothing because everything's up to date, and a test, which, ooh, does not work. Again, we forgot the LD library, but that's no problem because we can, could either use the wrap programs directly, uh, exactly how it is written here, or export the environment variable ourselves. And I'm just kind of uh, goofing here. Whoa. Man, I should uh, figure out what is up with this indentation. Uh, but yeah, that would add a prefix to the LD library path of the Vulcan loader. And uh, that should be sufficient. Hey, uh, there we go. Whee! That's the basics for setting up a VK Quake development environment on Nix packages. I haven't actually touched the VK Quake source yet. I've just added this stuff to my own project repository, so I can add whatever I want. Don't need to worry about um, breaking anything yet. And what we're going to do is add to the project repository. Our initial commit. Next time I'll actually look into the source code and see how Vulkan is hooked up and uh, what the structure of the render aspect of Quake is.